New this morning, planes carrying the first emergency USAID arrived in India's capital today. Our country is sending more than $100 million worth of items, including 1,000 oxygen cylinders, 15 million N95 masks, and 1 million rapid diagnostic tests. India reported a new record rise in daily COVID-19 cases today, 386,000 new infections. And the country is in the middle of a deadly second wave, killing thousands. Here to talk about the situation and ways to help is Gitesh Desai. He's a spokesperson for Say Why. It's an international nonprofit that specializes in disaster recovery and is currently raising $10 million to fight the surge in India. Gitesh, good morning. Thanks for joining me. Good morning. Thank you for the opportunity. So my first question for you, Sewa has volunteers actually in India right now. Can you tell me and give me an idea of what they're seeing there? Our volunteers and leaders are seeing exponential jump in cases as well as deaths. Uh, throughout the metropolitan cities across India. Uh, they are also witnessing that uh, there's a big short supply of medical devices uh, and equipment, uh, which are life-saving equipment, as well as admitting into the hospitals. The beds are in short supplies. Medical supplies are in short supplies. So everywhere they feel this uh, need. Uh, this is mainly in the major cities across India. Uh, in small cities and towns, it is not as bad as we, the experience and seeing in big cities. Mm -hmm. And you talk about the medical, the need for medical equipment, uh, specifically oxygen. Can you talk about some of the biggest needs in India right now? The, uh, yes, biggest need is for oxygen concentrators and ventilators. So Seva International has uh, initiated about a week ago uh, fundraising uh, efforts through Help India defeat COVID-19 in India. And under that, on Facebook page of Seva International USA and our web page, sevausa.org, we are raising funds to acquire and ship this life-saving equipment. Yesterday, we shipped 2,184 oxygen concentrators. Prior to that, we shipped another 400. So this should be arriving in India tomorrow. And uh, Corporations across the country are also pitching in in our efforts. So our target is $10 million. We are very close to achieving that goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we are, we're going to share all those links on our website as well. Um, Gitesh, I do have a question. You know, last month it seemed like things were under control in India, and then it seems to have spiraled out of control. Can you give an idea of maybe why that may have happened? The mass gatherings as well seem to be a big uh, problem in the last few weeks. Uh, there are a number of reasons, but this caught everybody by surprise, <clears throat> India and the world at large, because India was doing very well up until uh, early March, and uh, the recent uh, skyrocketing jump of these cases has shocked the world. Uh, nobody knows the real reason how this uh, second surge came to India. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and talking to us about the great efforts that SAYWA is doing. Hopefully, uh, you know, we can get control of what is happening in India because it truly is heartbreaking to see uh, the number of lives that are being lost. So, Gitesh, I thank you so much. Thank you.